Ah, não. Hey, what's going on, everybody? So, today we came out to this lake in Livermore, decided to do some fishing. We knew there's a possibility of catching a few different species, and we had a good time. So, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and let's get fishing. A lot of grass right here. A lot of dead grass right here. I see some fish jumping out there. Looks like they started cleaning up some of the stuff that used to be floating out there. There was a ramp you could kind of walk down, and then there was the marina shop that was still out in the water. We had seen a little more fish activity right over here. Now it's over there. Very cool. Those docks weren't over there last time I was here, were they? Let's grab a couple of rods and go check over there. See what's going on. That is interesting. So far, there's no signs that say don't walk on this so that's nice there's just like a tiny little jump you got to make and that's it oh, dude, nothing says don't walk here See what this new uh, depths swim bait looks like in the water. Oh. Just bought this new uh, depths 145 glide bait. It's a uh, in a carp color. You got a follower already. Nice. Tiny little one, but still a follower. <laughs> Little guy, but he's a fish. Would you look at that? Is that a largey or a smallie? He's gonna try and hook me, is what he is. Oh, it's a little. I think it's a large mouth. What you can tell is, is their jaw go past their eye? Yes, it does. It's a largey. All right, little bud, back you go. Okay, little crankbait. First fish. Yeah, that little bass hit it super aggressive. That's why I thought for a second maybe it was a smallmouth. There are some smallmouth in this lake. Last rod we haven't thrown yet, been out for about an hour now. Caught one Jimmy. So earlier in the year we were catching them on the two and three quarters inch version of this bait. It's the flash arrow split tail. And uh, I mean, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's just the six inch version, six, six inch version. God, how does English work? six inch version on a little swim bait head. Okay, we're gonna go tie the drop shot on our other rod and uh, change spots, change locations. All right, looks to me like we're getting close to 
some area that might actually be interesting to fish. And the water's gone down at least another like, looks like, I don't know man, like three, four feet since we were here last time, like a month ago. A lot more bank access than there was previously. And also as a result, grass is matting up a lot more. So with more matted grass, I think we might actually try and throw the frog around a little bit today. I just saw a little fish down there just right now. <clears throat> All this bank. All this room for activities. Okay, let's put our rods down. Let's throw the frog first on these mats. Because how could you just not right now? Look, there's a frog jumping in the water right there. Match the hatch, baby. Alrighty, we're gonna give the fluke a rip. See what happens. Got him. Smally. This one's a smally. No, it's a largey. Here we go. The roof of the mouth. Fluke. Large mouth. Roof of the mouth. Let's go, dude. Let's get him back. Alrighty. Fluke. Get some. Alright, Jim Bob. Later, my dude. Okay. Let's try and do that again. The way it was fighting, I thought for sure it was a uh, smallmouth. But nope, just a feisty little largey. Feisty one pound largey. Soon enough, there's gonna be no shade left on the bank. Next time we come, we're definitely gonna start, start off by going down this direction rather than start off down there. All right, y'all, that's gonna conclude today, so We'll come back, uh, probably start over here instead of over by the parking lot. Saw an abundance of bait in this area, but it's a little later in the day. I feel like in the morning this might be a hot spot for a moving bite for some fish chasing bait. And you might even we might even get all three striper, small mouth, and large mouth over here. But uh, yeah, we'll see you next time. Alrighty, y'all. Good morning. Out here today again in Livermore. Instead of starting off by the boat ramp, we have walked out to the spot where we saw the bait piled up last time. So we're going to see if there's a bite to be had out here. I do see some fog on the water and I do hear some fish activity. So hopefully there is a bite to be had. It seems quite windy this morning. So we'll probably start off with some louder baits, but I want to start off with top water. So hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and let's get fishing. Alrighty y'all, got the KVD sexy dog walking bait. Brought it out today because we haven't caught much on walking baits and uh, there's striper, smallmouth, and largemouth here. Just saw a carp breach water over there. Carp probably won't hit the walking bait, but hey, it's just good to see some fish doing some stuff in the morning.
approximately 10 hours later. Alrighty, y'all. Got this drop shot tied on. Gonna see how it does. Gonna throw it in some deeper water also, I think. But uh, yeah, man, I uh, just struggling a little bit today, man. Alrighty, I think we found the unofficial trail down to the spot that we want to try out. Glad that someone else <laughs> had this idea before and cut some of this crap down out of the way. Hmm. At least we know we're not the first ones. Actually being the first ones here would have been pretty cool, but that would mean that we would also have to whack our way through all the brush, be the first ones to do that, which would kind of suck. Alrighty. Look at all this gross algae right here. Got a bunch of baby bass to follow it. <laughs> Sometimes where there's babies, their parents aren't too far away. It's just gonna kind of suck to try to weed through all of the Algae. Hmm. Tell Val continues to baffle me. Look at that. It's a freaking tarantula. Hey buddy, how's it going? Pretty cool. You don't see those everywhere all the time. Why did I come back over here? Oh yeah, new GoPro battery. We'll be right back. Hey y'all, look what we found, another craw claw. Craw claw, last time we found a craw claw and threw the Kraken Craw. We uh, got some fish, so hopefully it's the same thing today. It's what we're hoping. Finally. Oh, that's a smolly. Hey, it's the species that we were hoping to catch. Let's go, dude. That stinking go. That's why we came to this spot. Remember what I said about uh, finding that craw claw? We found a craw claw through the craw and got what we were looking for. You know, not huge. But our first smallmouth of the of the year. Heck yeah, dude! Super happy about this guy. Thanks, bud. Give him a little kiss, little fish kiss. All right, Mr. Smallmouth. Back you go. Boop. See, we're not smallmouth experts at all by any means whatsoever. But I knew that smallmouth like to hang out deeper and on boulders. So that's why we we're throwing the drop shot with a little minnow guy. And, uh, you know, just didn't have any luck with it. Got a bunch of little large mouths, large mouth following it. But uh, really today we wanted, well, what we wanted was three species. We wanted large mouth, small mouth, and striper. But to be honest with you, just catching that smallmouth uh, just makes my day, honestly, because there's not very many places around here that you can catch a uh, smallmouth. But I figured over here, you know, it's like a rocky bluff wall with some boulders down there, and I was like, there's a good chance there's some smallies on these boulders down here.
It's a large E or a small E? I think it's a large E this time. Oh yeah. Large mouth. Multi-species. Let's go. There we go. Little large mouth. Little small mouth. Little large mouth. Both on the craws. Thanks for playing, buddy. Have a good life. Ooh, acrobat. Little acrobatic fish. Yeah, we came here two days. First day, found a little fluke pattern, but it wasn't anything like extraordinary. And then we were down at that point over there and we saw some bait fish. So we thought we'd come back another day and throw some top water and some little paddle tails and stuff over there. And we did, and guess what? <laughs> Nothing happened. So we had to improvise. We had to think like, what are we going to do? And then I saw this little ledge right here rocky ledge coming from the reeds and I was like you know maybe there's some smallmouth striper I don't know but fish in that area so we came over here and uh, caught a couple fish so made some calls they worked out made some other calls that didn't work out but we kept trying didn't give up and uh, yeah caught a couple of fish actually a handful of fish and had a good time you know no monsters fall fishing has been tough but we're having fun and caught our first smallmouth for the year so it's a big win if you've been liking these videos check out my other ones hit that like button hit that subscribe button and we will see you next time peace